Okay, we're now going to look at adding fractions with the same denominator. So whenever you're adding fractions with the same denominator, the, the main thing you need to do is to realise that the denominator won't change. So for instance, if you had a fifth plus two fifths, well one fifth plus two fifths equals three fifths. Okay, so one fifth plus two fifths equals three fifths. So you add one and two together, so you get three and the denominator stays the same. So you just add the numerator, but keep the denominator the same. So adding fractions with the same denominator is fairly easy. Okay, the main thing is that you don't add the denominators. One fifth plus two fifths equals three fifths. Next one. One tenth plus three tenths. Well, one tenth plus three tenths would equal four tenths. Now, if you've seen the video on simplifying fractions, you'll realize that four tenths can be cancelled down or simplified. Okay, they're both divisible by two, so you divide them both by two, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5, so the answer would be 2 fifths, okay? If you give 4 tenths and it didn't tell you to simplify it, that still would be right, but try to cancel it down as fully as possible, and sometimes they ask you to. Next one, let's do subtraction. In 9 tenths, take away 2 tenths. Well, if I have 9 tenths and I take away 2 tenths, I'd be left with 7 tenths. And that can't be simplified, so that's your answer. Uh, the next stage, okay, would be adding fractions with different denominators, and I'd recommend, if you find this quite straightforward, looking at that video. And the main thing whenever you're adding fractions with different denominators is that you make them have the same denominator. You want to get it to this sort of scenario here where they've all got the same denominator, and it's nice and easy. Okay.